Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our final exam review part two, question five. And this one is a truncated pyramid. So we have a question five. A truncated pyramid is used as a base for a table in a park. The bottom base is a square with a side length of four feet. Top base is a square with a side length of three feet. The truncated pyramid is about four feet tall. Find the volume of the truncated pyramid to the nearest tenth of a cubic foot. And of course, part B, if each base is made of concrete and one cubic foot of concrete weighs 150 pounds, what would the weight of eight of these bases be to the nearest pound? All right, so very similar to before, we want to create similar triangle situations. So we could, in this case, make our pyramid, but I just kind of bypass all that and just made our uh, similar triangles, right triangles, by going through the middle. And so let me delete this. And so we see here that from the center to the to the to the edge of this of the base is about two. From the center to the edge of the base for the for the top base is 1.5. And we have here uh, the bottom part is four, and the top part is going to be x unknown value. And of course, this portion here, this height will be x plus four. And just, just like we did for the truncated cone, we're going to be finding, in this case, the, the similar triangle situation, and to create a proportion, uh, for the truncated pyramid. So we'll create our proportion, x plus 4 over 2 is equal to x over 1.5. All right? And so we cross-multiply, and we're going to get, in this case, 1.5x plus 6 equals 2x. All right. So 1.5 times x is 1.5x plus 4, 4 times 4 6. Okay, so we're going to now subtract 1.5x on both sides. And we're going to get 6 is equal to 0.5x. And if you divide both sides by 0.5, you should get, in this case, x equals 12. Therefore, we see that this measurement for this height of the small, of the small pyramid is 12, and the large pyramid would be, in this case, 16. So, very similar to what we did before. Volume of the big pyramid minus volume of the small pyramid equals the volume of the truncated pyramid. And so the volume of the big pyramid is one-third base area times height. Well, the base area is a square base, so the which edge is four, so a four squared, times the height, which is going to be 16. Okay, and the volume of the small pyramid is one-third, and of course, that square base has, a, has an edge of three, so it's going to be three squared. Okay, keep in mind, so in this case, this is four, Okay, the base area is going to be 4 squared, and this is 3. The base area is going to be 3 squared. And the height of this small pyramid will be 12. And they say, well, what's small? What pyramid? Well, we extend these all upwards and all. Okay, that's top part that's been taken off. And therefore, the value of the truncated pyramid is a difference. Now, again, I'm definitely going to take out the factor out to 1 third, because they both have 1 third here. And we're subtracting. So we have one third, four squared times 16 minus three squared times 12. And so now we're going to take our calculator. Okay, so we're going to clear this and we're going to do one third parenthesis. We have four squared times, I think we said it was six, uh, 16, yes, it was 16, times 16, and subtract 3 squared times, I think we said it was 12, and close parenthesis. And so we're going to get, in this case, a volume of 49.3333, so 49 and a third. Now, I'm going to, you know, because, of that, you know, here's the thing. Now, the cubic foot would approximately, oh, so this nearest tenth of cubic foot is going to be approximately 49.3 cubic feet. Okay, so nearest tenth of cubic foot. All right. Now, if each of each of these, in this case, uh, so there, so we got that first part there. That's the, uh, that's the weight, 
that's the volume of each of these of these um, bases of a, of a table. Now, if each base is made of concrete and one cubic foot weighs about 100 pounds, we're going to figure out in this case, multiply this by, let me bring this down a little bit here, multiplies by 150, and that will be the weight of one of them, but we need to find the weight of eight of them. So we're going to take this, so we're going to do the 49.3 times eight of them <clears throat> times 150 pounds. Okay. And so with our roundup value, okay, so we'll do 49.3 times 8 times 150. And that weight will be a total of 59,160 pounds. Okay, and this is the weight we're going to use if we use a 49.3. Now, one might ask, well, what happens if we use the, FOIA, the the actual answer from before? Will that change things? And I think it might. Okay, let's take a look. So let's bring this up here to 49.3 repeating. And we'll multiply this by 8. And by this, by 150. And we see in this case, if we keep this, we're all, but the weight is off by, in this case, 40 pounds because we get 59,200. Most likely in this situation, when we get a problem uh, for our final, we will see in this case that um, we're going to probably round us to the nearest ton in this case. So, so with discrepancy, if we were to divide this weight by 2,000, each one of these, okay, if I ask the nearest ton, even though I didn't ask this question, Divide by 2,000. By tons, we'd have 29.6 or 30 tons. If we took the 59,160 and divide by 2,000, we would get the same amount of 30 tons. And so by tons, they're basically the same value. So if you got this value or 59,200 pounds, both will be okay, acceptable, because this is the the top one is rounded and the bottom one is the exact value we kept there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So the hard part in this problem, I would say, would be in this case of just setting up your proportion for the triangles. So you can now figure out the uh, volume, the, the the two volumes, the volume of the two two um, pyramids. Remember. The volume of pyramid is one third base area times height, and the base area for each one was a square base, and we found the height for each one separately. So, all right, hopefully this is helpful, ladies and gentlemen. I ask that you uh, just make sure because either a question four or five, one of these questions will be on your final, and therefore we'll make sure you are good with this. All right, and so if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Appreciate all your input on this. Um, I hope you guys it was helpful. If it was helpful to you. Please leave a like for the video and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you can get uh, alerted when new videos are added. You know, especially when we start doing the videos when it comes to Algebra 2. So just keep that in mind. I'll be doing those videos pretty soon, though. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, all, all you guys. I hope you guys are, are safe and taken care of. Just, just make sure you be careful out there. All right, I'll see you in the next video.